what does your breath have to say? Well, it's coming in, it's going out. But if you learn how to read it, you can see that it's more than just in and out. It's telling you the shape of your mind right now, the shape of your body. And you can change the breath to put these things into better shape. So every day, make sure that you, at least once a day you do a really thorough survey of the breath energy in the different parts of the body, kind of like your daily physical checkup. Because the breath can help with a lot of minor ailments here and there. When things aren't flowing well in different parts of the body in terms of the breath energy or in terms of the blood, okay, you can open them up a little bit. Where you're tensing up around a pain and actually making it worse, well, you can relax. And at the same time, you look at your mind, because the breath is like a mirror for the mind. The times when greed comes in or anger comes in, there'll be a slight catch in the breath. And you want to catch that before it spreads and settles into the body. So try to be on top of things and use the breath as your informant. Get an idea of what's going on. Because to, to learn what it has to say, you have to stay with it for quite a while. And as with any relationship, you have to ask questions and see what it answers and see what it doesn't answer. You get to know like, what is its code, what is it telling you. But if you, take, if you take the time to look, you find that this resource that we all have, as long as we're alive, the breath is coming in and it's going out, has a lot more to offer than just keeping you alive. It can also help the health of the body, help with the health of the mind. So take some time to get to know it. Because there's a lot you're going to learn. <laughs>